So Raw Food Diet 2013, the Raw Food Diet officially dead. Would you say that, Duran Ryder? I would say that would be a good statement to write. Fred Patton, I did an article about it recently. What's happening now, which is cool, which is fucking awesome, I love it, is the raw food diet is dying, but, but the healthy raw food lifestyle is thriving. The raw food diet, it's got to be 100% raw, raw is law. Now, I believe 100% fruit and vegetable, high carb, is the best way to go. Vegan, fruit space, 80-10-10, HR... HCRV, etc, etc, that is the best, for sure, 30 bad, that's the best, for sure. But what we're seeing now is the death of the raw food diet. The raw food diet was really started by uh, uh, Wolf and Co and popularized by Monarch and that as just a medium which to push product. Push, Cook food is poison, don't eat anything cooked, but buy our fucking colostrum and, and deer placenta and, and, and fucking agi-clarity and all this toxic bullshit that was cooked anyway. M's, MSM, uh, what, what, what was popular supplements those guys made millions on? Um, beauty enzymes, uh, rice protein powders, all this toxic trend, all this really expensive bullshit that wasn't even raw. Chocolate, cacao, that was one big scam. Cacao was never raw, never is raw. If you get a raw cacao bean, right, from the cacao fruit, which I've actually had in the jungles in Malaysia and stuff, you put that in your mouth, it doesn't taste anything like the cooked chocolate that's palmed off as raw. It's just one big scam. So the raw food diet is basically a marketing scam to push product out to unsuspecting health seekers. 100%. It's, it's so, undersold juice cleansers or you know detox masteries or detox gimmicks or retreats or whatever that aren't a long-term thing. All they do is they get people who are caught up in that fad mentality and go, I'm going to try juicing this month and I'm going to try... MSM, it's just, it's just a whole market scam. The whole raw food diet is a market scam. The raw food lifestyle, on the other hand, what we teach, the fundamentals, getting your carbohydrate calories in, getting your 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day minimum, if you want to be lean, fit, and healthy long term. We promote objectives, fundamentals. A lot of people out there in the raw food diet world, the scammers, they don't promote any of that. they just like, just eat raw. Just eat raw and buy this and buy that. Every fucking video or every newsletter is just something to sell, 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 sell. More consumable products. We've got DVD, DVD set. Now we've got a new one coming out. We've got this little supplement. Now we've got a new one coming out. It's always changing because it's always about money, 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 money. The raw food diet is basically a scam in that sense that it's just a tool to push bullshit to people. If you've been in the lifestyle for a while, you start to go, oh yeah, now I can see that. I can see what it was all about. Don't eat bread, because bread's dead, but I've got a little DVD or a little raw food flax cracker thing you can have instead. But they never teach you about, well, if you want bread, it means you need carbohydrates. It's not because you're an addict to starches or whatever. It's because you need carbohydrates. So instead of eating bread, instead of eating flax crackers, which have no carbs pretty much, just fat, make you feel greased out and want to do a water fast and afterwards. Instead of having the flax crackers, you go from bread, flax, bypass the flax and go from bread to bananas or bread to fruits. Better option, isn't it? Better option. When you want bread, when you want rice, your body wants carbohydrates. Fruit's going to give you a better source of carbohydrates without excess sodium, excess fat, etc. Because bread is generally loaded with full of oil and salt. So you're getting the fat and the salt in the bread. So if you want to have the starch, you're better off having like whole starches like a rice or a potato, which has lower sodium content, lower fat content. But the raw food diet gurus in the past 15 years have never taught you that, did they? Most of them didn't. Most of them didn't. Um, people like Doug Graham, who never had anything, no real consumables to sell, just a, a book, which was the same content for like a decade. Just th fundamentals to teach versus a new product every month, buy this, buy that, money, money, money. So that's that's the death of the raw food movement. I think it's fucking awesome because now on our forum, we have the largest raw food forum ever. Most of the raw food forums are dead now because they weren't bringing enough money for their creators to, to maintain. Because it was all about money anyway. They charge you money to be on there or they're they just selling you product all the time. But eventually profit was just like, no, nah, it's not working, so we just can that. <laughs> Our forum is for free, always will be, always was. You can you don't need to sign up to look at it. You don't even have to log in. You can just 
lurk and browse and watch without signing in. Just open up your browser, it's there. That's always our goal, is to promote fundamentals for people. We never push that you need to be 100% raw because that doesn't mean anything because you can eat cashews and be 100% raw or whatever. That's not what we teach. We teach 100% carved up, 100% healthy. And if you can do it on fruits and vegetables, that's definitely the best choice. But we always give people a backup plan because we live in a real world. We live in a real world. Most people out there got kids, live with them, they're working in the real world, whatever. This cockatoo here, we found him on the side of the road. And because he's lost a lot of feathers, he got attacked by a falcon or a cat or something. So we're going to put him in the shed for a few months. It's a big shed, big shed, plenty of room to fly around, flap his little wings. He's getting more, more used to contact. We give him his food. But in nature, He's got his food all around him all the time. A cockatoo's always got food available. Anytime a cockatoo's hungry, just flies to the next tree, grabs some nuts, grabs some fruit, grabs on the bark some seeds on the ground. Always got its food. In, in society, though, this food has been commodified. We live in a world where if you don't have a fucking enough food, you fucking die. You die. 27,000 kids under age 5 approximately die per day from not enough food, starvation. So what we've done, the big industries just come in, just said, you can't just live on fruits and fucking corn. You've got to have meat and shit. So even the people who are like starving on corn and fruit think, well, like, if I had some meat, it would be all better. Let's go hunt some chimps or gazelle or whatever. So it's just, we live in a crazy fucked up situation. Crazy world. Crazy world. Of just foods being commodified. And the raw food diet, which is the most natural diet for humans, became this commodified thing. So if we lived in a natural world, it would just be fruits and vegetables. Always getting fruits, just be walking through the forest all day long, just getting fruits, wild mangoes, etc. We've been out of that system for so long, a lot of those native fruits have just died off, especially with agriculture coming in there, just putting cows on there. Most of the Australian wild fruits have gone because with the all the cows and grazing came in, the cows just ate fucking everything here. Just <laughs> Most of the native uh, flora and actual fauna is becoming extinct in Australia or endangered due to cattle and grazing, all the grass-fed Grass-fed dairy industry, grass-fed meat industry is the biggest industry in Australia, biggest food industry in Australia. So we've just totally wiped out our native fruits in Australia that were there. So people go, well, if I walk outside, I can't see any fruit trees. All I can see is Walmart and Denny's. That must be my natural diet. <laughs> that's right, because that's how fucked up we've made the planet now. So raw food diet is a fad. Raw food lifestyle, fruits and vegetables, that's the real deal. Don't get caught in the trap though. I've got, I'm gonna be 100% raw, I'm gonna be 100% raw. And then say so when you get really hungry, you can't find your fruit sheet and like flax crackers and stuff like that, or trying to do a juice cleanse or like, if I do a juice cleanse, like if I master my detox or whatever, then I'll, I'll never crave anything better to give again. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. That's a marketing angle. That's absolute fucking, if I do a water fast, I'll, I'll never leave. No, no, no. I'll reset my, no. No, you need to get enough carbohydrate calories in daily. Go to sleep. Early, 8, 9 p.m., drink your water. Start the day with a litre of water every morning. That's what you need to do, fundamentals. You can get, you, you're welcome to spend as much money and time and, and or gain a lot of fat and fuck up your metabolism and do all these fads and gimmicks. You're welcome to do that. Your body, your choice, your life. I'm just saying there's another way, a better way. You know what that way is. Fruits and veg, calm the fuck up. Always eat McDougal style carb meals over any high fat raw food. 100%. 100%. People go, oh, I want to be 100% raw. That's just the dogma. The label 100% raw is a marketing angle. That's a marketing angle. That's not healthy if you're eating fat when you should be eating carbohydrate. Does that make sense? That's why you see so many people do 100% raw food and they're just like, they're getting so fucking hungry and it's like, oh, and then they just fill up on like heaps of Thai durian or heaps of nuts and go, oh, I feel shit. I got to do a juice fast to lose the weight. And they're just constantly yo-yoing and their fitness is never really good. Their mood is like up and down. But they're eating 100% raw food. It's not healthy though, is it? So if you're going to do 100% raw food, that's fantastic. Be organized. It's very tough to do. It's, it's possible to do. You just got to be really organized. Have your ripe bananas and your dates and everything like that. Have them around the place all the time. When you go out, be organized. Know where you can get food. When you travel, organize. Things like that. So me, myself, I don't eat 100% raw food diet, even though I think that is the best way to go. As long as it's high carb, high carb, 100% raw foods, not the, the nuts and stuff. Avocado, I'd say maximum one a week. Nuts, a maximum handful a week if you want health. Otherwise, you're just going to load that body up with fat, increase your chance of heart disease, sugar metabolic issues, metabolic issues, too much fat, 
is not good. It's not good at all. Oils on a raw food diet, toxic as. Get rid of your oils, toxic as. Doesn't matter if they're raw or not. They're rancid as fuck, processed, refined oil. Fuck them off. If you want something refined, have refined sugar. Drink a cup of organic raw oil and drink it and then no that actually don't do that because you might end up in fucking emergency ward but let's say you did do that you'd feel like absolute shit and then next day drink a cup of organic sugar and water and see how better you feel exactly so yeah i'm saying that 2013 does mark the end of the raw food diet and people are just you see on instagram instagram's getting so big we spend so much time in there now just looking at what's going on and you see all these pictures of slim girls eating just fruits or they're having like a rice meal and you see less and less of this like high fat gourmet raw food stuff which is just basically a fad it's not real food because it's basically these people teach you can do the raw food diet and you can still eat pasta to go yay but then you eat this cashew pasta or nut butter pasta with zucchini noodles you're getting hardly any carbs and you're getting all this fat and you just like over time your thyroid's getting all whacked out because you're not getting enough carbohydrate is your mood's dropping, you're like, I need some cacao to pick me up, I need to get back on the coffee. And that's changing now. It's so beautiful to see that. Look on Instagram. Look on Instagram. It's so fucking cool that the raw food diet is dying and the healthy raw food diet is starting to thrive. The lifestyle versus just the diet. It's the lifestyles. People understand about the sleep and the water and the sugar and things like that and the sport. That you, If you want to get toned ass, you've got to move your ass. And you've got enough carbohydrates so you can move that ass and do the squats and do the cycle and do the running up the hills and the walking around. That's beautiful to see that. And I see on people's YouTube channels, they're getting critiqued now saying, oh, you're just selling bullshit every video or whatever. You never used to see that critical thinking before. People just says, no judgment, no judgment, not, not judging or criticizing. I'm just going to buy it and with no, no, no critical thought. I'm not a critical thinker because I'm so under carb from following your advice. Love you. That's all going, that's all dying, that whole fakeness and marketing, that's just all dying off now and people are getting real, real time, real time and they're getting their real results. And that's fucking, I love it. We love to see it. We're trolling the internet with the best information out there, getting people healthy, fit, lean, toned, without the drugs, without the starving, without the emotional roller coasters. So raw food diet, dead. Raw food lifestyle, stronger than ever before. People getting best results ever before. And they're having a backup plan versus just going 100% raw nothing, which is good if you live in the jungle because that's all you fucking got. But if you live in society, it's not all you got. 100% raw food diet is the hardest thing to eat ever because we live in society. We don't live in the jungle. In the jungle, that's all you fucking got. That's awesome. But so now you've got to have a be realistic. You've got to have a backup plan. So if you're in your urban environment and you run out of fruit, don't go to nuts and seeds to be 100% raw because you'll just be fucked up. You'll just get fucked up. Undercarb, thyroid issues, weight issues, sugar metabolic issues. Go to McDougall's plan as a backup. Fruit up here, starches here. Simple as that. Always has been, always will be. Nuts, fats, under the screen. Under the screen. Done. Done.